Hi guys, we are almost done. The light is at the end of the tunnel, big time. I've just got to do some mopping up. Well, not really mopping up. Uh, I've just made another chemical mix up to um, treat the bamboo flooring to uh, make sure that the termites don't do all, uh, undo all our hard work. So let me show you what we've been getting up to. It's been quite a lot. First of all, feast your eyes upon my steps, which I have to say, have been heavily influenced by probably the greatest movie of all time, Swiss Family Robinson. Check that out. And my handrails, the story behind my handrails, these gnarly old buggers are from the village house. This is the Taiwan bamboo that have been growing there. And uh, it's beautifully ugly in my opinion. So I know, our, I know our farmland and house looks like a bit of Stig of the Dump, um, Trampsville, Gypsy site, whatever you want to call it. But we did know that this creation was coming. So we've stockpiled as many materials as possible and we've eventually ran out. Just, just when I was going to do my last step here. So I don't know whether I'm going to forage around and um, find just a few more bits and bobs and create another step there. The only other thing I could think of is to utilise some of these huge rocks that are on the land and uh, create a couple of little steps with those. Uh, I don't know yet. We've got we've got a bag of cement and some sand, so we could do that. But it's not too hard to, to get up here. Check out this anti-slip. So we've got different height finishes here. It's all good. So even in your slippy flip-flops, my handrail, my step, my access way rather is beautiful. As is, check that out. Bespoke hinges cost a fortune in uh, Global House, Eastwood. I've just got to put a lock on this side, no problem there. Um, talk about running out of materials, we obviously ran out of timber and we managed to get hold of three roofing sheets here from Toon's cousin's house that got damaged in the storm uh, quite a few months ago. So they were worth their weight in gold. Uh, I even had to resort to using some bamboo to uh, fix that up. So that's on the, on the outside. Made to measure. So very happy. Down here, right then. So we've got the last top section of roofing sheets. These are the ones that were damaged in the storm that are not a good enough condition to use on a roof again. But uh, that we want them on this side because all along here, eventually, well, my next job, which I don't mind because now I'm in the shade, is this is going to be the uh, birthing area. So they're going to have, I don't know what you call them, birthing stalls or something, uh, where the mothers-to-be have got their own separate little pens along there just to keep them away from the others and uh, protect the the kids so that's a project coming up soon uh, but the rest of it is done so just to recap my birth installs uh, I've got to mop up the floor here this this has been um, treated both sides a couple of times so is the steps um, everything else is treated in here I've got to do my lock on the gate and then I've just got to do one initial step down the bottom there. And then that's it. It's done. We'll be pushing the goats up here. Buzzing. Absolutely buzzing. It's been a long, long journey. And um, Toon and I were really intent on doing this ourselves as much as possible. Yeah, we, we didn't fancy doing the roof. It was bloody dangerous. Very, very high. And uh, the timber's aren't that big. We would have liked to have had bigger eucalyptus but again we were restricted with the timbers that we had available um, on the land and they, sh they should last a year and a half, two years and that's when we should have enough goats to move them on to Goat Island. Right then, I need to get mopping don't I? I don't know what the missus is doing, probably watching TV. Just for the record guys, this should not be classed as mopping the house. That of course is not my domain, never has been, never will be. 
but I don't mind doing this. I don't mind killing termites. It's quite, quite enjoyable. It's such a happy, happy, happy feeling. It has been quite hard going, splitting the bamboo. Bloody hell. We've split bamboo before and it's been quite easy. That's why we thought we could do it here and the other uh, goat houses that we'd had a look at to get some design ideas, they'd all use bamboo. But the bamboo that we got, although it was nice and straight, it was a little bit young when we cut it. And then, because we've been trying to do so much ourselves, it dried out quite quickly, um, which made splitting it an absolute nightmare. And if Toon's mum hadn't helped us, um, I, I wouldn't say we were ready to throw in the towel, but Jesus, it was, it was disheartening and bloody hard. But I think I said previously in some of the clips, if Toon's mum can't split the bamboo almost dead straight, then there's something wrong with the bamboo. Because uh, her and Toon's dad used to make nearly everything out of bamboo, so they're an old seasoned hand at, at doing it. So apart from that, what was hard? Um, I think that that was by far and away the hardest bit. Stripping all the bark off the um, eucalyptus. That was quite hard going because you can't stay in the shade all the time. So that wasn't very nice. I don't know the rest of it. It was just a long hard slog, that was all. Cutting the eucalyptus wasn't too bad because we had some help. Die, you horrible creatures. You can just see here, you get some very, very tiny, like little pinpricks. All the yellow dust that comes out. The dust is the bamboo, of course. They eat the soft bit first inside. If you put your ear to the bamboo, you can just hear this faint crunching or sort of like scratching. We need to get it all sorted first. What we have been told, I don't know if it's true though, once you get your goats on top of it, and of course they're urinating, the bamboo goes super shiny and you get like a, a hard shell forming over it, which we have seen on our table in there. And that hasn't been eaten at all. So I think people are quite right. But as I say, as long as this can last over a year, hopefully then the fishing lake is finished. There's been a little bit of secret progress on there, but we can't tell you because it wouldn't be a secret. And um, once that's completed, then we're going to create the goat ship to beat all goat ships. It is going to be monstrous. We're deadly serious about becoming mainstream uh, goat farmers. We're absolutely hooked on it. Uh, we haven't invested a great deal. The, ma the main expense has been buying the goats. We've got our main brood stock now, or whatever you call them. And uh, as long as Tumnus does his job, seen his penis out a few times, as long as Mr. Tumnus gets all the girls pregnant on a regular basis, the numbers should be quite high come another year. Once you get over 40, 50 animals, you imagine a female goat breeds twice a year, well, basically every, every five months they're knocking a the sprog out and they average two. Their first, their, first, their first birth they normally have one, sometimes you get lucky and get two and uh, after that they average two per birth but if you're lucky and you get a good nanny and she produces plenty of milk uh, then you'll get some that regularly give you three if you are blessed by the goat gods you get some amazing nannies that will give you four so imagine that 
that would be eight goats per year from one from one nanny. But I mean, even if you go with the average and four goats per year, you get 100 goats, 100 nannies. Yeah, I think we'll need, um, Terminus will need a bit of a help if you have that many. But that's 400 goats a year. And um, I know I've joked in the past that we need about 3,000 goats, but we could, in theory, keep a lot, a lot of goats. We've got the land, and although we're improving the land and the soil structure and that, it is pretty poor quality land. What we do have a lot of, sorry, is not weed. This is the beauty of having goats. We've got pasture now. We haven't got any weeds. It's all pasture. doing the whole floor I had enough chemical left over anyway and then I thought well in the future the, the goats would be moved in here and living in here every every day so I didn't want to have the prospect of painting it again in the future so I thought well let's paint it again and uh, still got some left over so I'm going to do all the timbers in here then that should be good to go leave it a couple of days and get the hoard in here all done floor all done Posts all done, and then the side wood all done. I've still got some chemical left, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to get my spray, little spray tank, get underneath the house, and then spray underneath the bamboo. I think that'll be well worth doing that job. Make sure that those little buggers are all gone. So uh, forget all the posts have been treated. We even mixed the chemical in with the cement mix as well. So uh, give it its best chance to survive a, a year, year and a half, lucky two years. I don't know, in the end if it's still standing, maybe a very, very posh chicken house. Or when I'm naughty, leaves naughty house. Happy days. <laughs>